Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and you can't tell if I'm wearing pants. Well, anyway, here is the first of four very big Space Quest conundrum videos that I promised you. Uh, and actually, we've got a three-for-one special today, because as you may or may not have noticed, today is not Sunday. Today is an entirely different day. Um, so, here's a three-for-one special. The first conundrum I've got for you is, why the hell wasn't this video out three days ago? And the answer is very simple. Shut up. Now, for the uh, second conundrum, and this is the main one, this is the one I really wanted to talk to you about, I think we can all agree that our good old friend Sludge Volhall is pretty much the nemesis of Space Quest. Uh, even though he's only technically appeared in two out of six games, um, he's still the one who's managed to make life the most miserable for Roger. Not least, of course, uh, from his endeavors to erase him entirely from history. Um, so in that sense, I think it's fair to say that, if not the main villain of the Space Quest series, at least Volhall is sort of the arch-nemesis of the series. He's the, uh, uh, he's, he's the LeChuck of the series. He's, he's the Newman to, to Roger Seinfeld. He's um, Al Lowe in a bathing suit. No, he's, um, he's a pretty badass character. So, with that in mind, I think what most players of Space Quest 1, the Saren Encounter, the very first game, I think the one thing most of them were wondering when they replayed the game subsequently was who the fuck is this Slash Volhall character who appears on the cartridge when you uh, uh, pop in and read the uh, um, thing about the Star Generator? Who the fuck is this guy? Where did he come from? What the hell does he have to do with Sludge Volhall who then proceeds to kidnap you in Space Quest 2, knock you unconscious, send you to his ape labian mines, and, uh, well, subsequently get his ass kicked. But hey, um, who the fuck is Slash? A lot of us, and by us, I mean devoted, committed, uh, pretty much batshit insane Space Quest fans, what we always thought was that this was a typo. This was Scott Murphy drunk off his ass and high on power and methamphetamines, uh, typing shit in, in, into his uh, parser at 4 a.m. in the morning somewhere up in Oakhurst, uh, and they just changed the name because Sludge sounded cooler in Space Quest 2. No, that's not the case at all. In fact, Slash and Sludge were originally supposed to be twins, twin brothers in fact, and they were from Xenon, uh, the same planet Roger's from, and apparently these brothers were also members of the scientific community, the ones that built the Star Generator that was supposed to save Xenon from, uh, you know, the son of Irnon burning out. Uh, you've all read the Space Quest 1 manual, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, thing is, something was wrong with these uh, twins. Uh, apparently they needed some surgical attention. Hey, who doesn't at some point? and all the good organs. Oh, you... Oh, I'm sorry. You missed the best part of the story. Anyway, that just means you'll have to tune in next week, next Sunday, or Wednesday, Tuesday maybe, Monday, Let's just keep to the original plan. Let's say Sunday. Next Sunday, I'll be revealing the next conundrum in my little four-part series of weird Space Quest conundrums. And this one, I think you'll be interested in. It has boobs in it. So I'll see you.